so where are we going today? We're heading southeast to Missouri to Rustic Acres. I don't know, Stafford, Missouri. We're gonna go visit um, the eldest who's in school down in that area. It's family weekend. We missed out last weekend, or last year. Last year, yeah. So she's very excited this year. But we get to come down for family weekend and do all the fun activities. Yes. And Katie's excited because we're returning to the scene of a tragic incident for myself. <laughs> I the, am. The infamous zonkey attack. <laughs> still hurts. Oh, it's the phantom oh, bite. Oh lord, so funny. Well anyway, we're gonna get on the road and we'll see you down there. Well, we didn't make it very far. You see the vent cover on our hot water heater. See how it's not there anymore? <laughs> yeah, that blew off on the highway as we were pulling out. We did not check it. So, guess what's going on our checklist? that. So right now Katie is up there somewhere, hopefully not getting run over by cars, looking for it. And if not, we can replace it. It's not a huge deal. Um, of all the things that can go wrong, that's a pretty minor one. But still, lesson learned, right? Let me walk up here a little bit. Yeah, somebody hit it. It's gone. The, there's nothing left. All right, let me. Oh, let, let's see if Randy's got one. Okay, I'm coming back. All right, if not, we can run over to Byerly too. We are ready to go again. Katie ran home just to change clothes because she got so sweaty out there on the highway. But we are back in business, and this thing looks better than the original. And guess what? It's not coming off. So. Good news, we're back in business, everything's good. We are so thankful that our storage lot has a mechanic, a great mechanic, um, Hawks RV Service. Uh, Randy and then John, um, they are awesome. They do really good work. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're gonna get on the road and we'll see you down there. Ooh, happiness requires work every day. We're about to enter the camel slash zonkey enclosure, and I think we need to talk about why this is a big deal. Because Daddy got bit. Daddy got bit by a zonkey two years ago here. Right. And, you know, I just... <laughs> Sometimes you say I act like a jackass, and I think that's why. Here they come, look. It's like they know. Oh, no. They're waiting for you at the gate. They know that it's time. I, oh good. But those look. are zebras. They're, they're zebras. Oh look, they're biting each other. Oh no, they're sharpening their teeth. <laughs> look, they're seriously waiting for us. All right, are you ready for this? Yes. You gotta keep your window down, but roll his up a little. Hi guys. Well, hello! Hi there! I don't have any food, but I will pet you. Hi! Oh, goodness, look at those teeth. Okay, now I understand. Yeah. 
I understand what. Whoa, don't bite the camera. Hey, 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 hey. Go on now. Go on now. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Are you feeling jittery? I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. A little nervous? Don't put your hands outside that window, boy. Hey, I was Mal talking to Malcolm. Hi. There's one right in front of us. Oh, is there? Yeah. I don't see it. It's. There oh. it is. <laughs> Careful. Success, you did not get bit by a zonkey. But it's not over yet. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Here comes the big one again. I know. I'm just gonna keep on driving. Just gonna, just gonna do a you quick job. You don't wanna say hi? No. Oh, look, it looks so insulted. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God, what? Look what's waiting for us. <gasps> That's a camel! It's a camel. And the he, camel wants he, to say hello. He, he, Dad, can you roll it up my window a little more? No. He wants he, you to roll well, it up he, a little more. Oh my more. God, they're all coming for us. He, he, Malcolm wants you to roll his window up a oh, little more. Oh, yeah. Oh. And stop. Well, hi, what are you? You're so cute. I don't, look at this camel. He is blocking the way. He is not letting. Oh, he's going to come say hi to you, you lucky, lucky. No, what nope. are you doing? Oh, no. oh, come on, let him. Nope. Let him say hi. <laughs> Dude, it's horrifying. Oh, it is not. It's oh, just it's... like a really big horse. Oh, pet him. I, Come on. I don't he have. Wants to say hi. I don't have any food Look, to he's offer him. Look, checking himself out in the mirror. I don't have any food to offer but him. But I, I want to take his picture, and I can't do that with the window up. I know, but the minute I turn the window down, he's gonna stick his head in here. Well, because he wants to say hi. This is, this is horrifying. This is not worth. This is amazing. Like, We're surrounded by wild animals. They're like, so wonderful mom, and beautiful. Mom, 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 mom. Oh, mommy. Mommy. Yes, dear. He was chewing on the truck. He's going to eat the truck. He's I'm not going to eat the truck. I have to go. I have to go. Is he eating the truck? I really don't think he, he is. He, he did bite at the mirror. There's, oh. It looks like a. He's just investigating. It actually looks like there's a chip gone from the top of the mirror. Dad, roll down your window right now. <laughs> no. All right, let's move on. All right. Do we have anything in front of us? I don't think so. No. Bye, bye, camel. <laughs> Here, I'll take this. Bye -bye, He's following camel. us. Sorry, camel. <laughs> I don't. Uh, that's funny. Way to go. You he's, he's following us. <laughs> I don't have any food. I'm we're, so sorry. We're being followed. Maybe drive faster. I don't want to. How fast can they run? Uh, I don't know. They're like. There the... he goes. He's he's realized that he is not gonna get anything. That's funny. There's so much poop in the oh, road. There's another camel. I'm telling you, this this camel took a bite out of the mirror it right there. It did not. Look at it. Look. It's probably just drool. Mm -hmm. That looks like drool from here. Do you want a baby wipe? No. When it dries, we'll see the camel eat our car. <laughs> the camel did not eat our car. Oh, 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 me. Hi there. There. Oh, hi. You're, you're, you're coming right in here, aren't you? Hi. I know. I don't. I don't actually have any food. You don't, but I can pet you if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. That is, I'd rather not get spit on. Hi. hi. Your, your ears are back. I do not. Okay. Okay. Those are teeth. Those are teeth. Those are teeth. A little frightened, are we? Yes. It started making a weird noise, and it, they're they're making noises. And look, teeth. <laughs> See, I told you, they're angry because we don't have food. We don't have an... Oh, where in the world did you come from? You were lucky you did not get bit again. They're gonna... No. No, no let, it, let it happen. Just no, let it's it gonna happen. Stick its, it's okay. It's gonna stick its head in here and we don't have any food. We don't have any food. I'm sorry. Oh, dear God. We don't have food. Okay, I gotta go. We don't have any food. <laughs> <laughs> this is not okay with me. Oh, hello. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, this is happening. Okay, you're, you're past.
comment in my space. Hi. Hi. I don't have anything. Go on now. Shoot, shoot. I will tell you, I would have been much more engaging with these animals had I food to give them. Yeah. But I feel like when they realize that you don't have food, they might get angry. Yeah. So we're done. Yes. We've made it through the safari park. Yep. And? No zonkey. No, well, we saw the zonkeys. We did not get attacked by the zonkeys. Um, we got surrounded two times. Yes, we did. And, um, so I was a little bit scared and, uh. All right, so. So if you're ever near Springfield, Missouri, this is a great place to visit. Mm -hmm. It's the exotic animal safari. Animal, wild, wild animal safari. Wild animal safari. Yeah. It right is off, the wild animal safari. Right off the highway. made it down here to Rustic Meadows RV Park and it is a pretty great place. It really is. I like it a lot. Yes. Um, so when we got here we started talking to uh, the campground host and turns out that they are also fellow YouTubers. Um, Yay! Which is awesome. Yes. And we spent a lot of time with them this weekend. They are really great and it's uh, Kelly and Regina from an extraordinary, extra extraordinary journey. journey. We would actually direct you to their channel. I'll put it up there, or maybe I'll link it down there. Somewhere, somewhere on the it screen. It will get linked. <laughs> anyway, they're an awesome family, and you guys can check them out. But stay tuned, we're going to um, do a little- We're gonna go say hi. Yeah, we're gonna go say hi, and then we're gonna go check out their awesome camper. All right. Welcome to our home. Oh, I love it. Yes. Oh, it smells wonderful in here. Thank you. It's our essential oils. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have those going at all times just because it, it just it it makes good. it home. It, yeah, it, it makes it, it home. does. It does. Um, so this used to be a dinette up here, and the dinette used to come all the way out to the door. And so it really kind of swallowed a lot of space in our camper. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided to just tear the entire dinette out. And we knew we wanted something that we could work off of and be able to homeschool with. And um, so Kelly designed this whole entertainment center up here and his little workstation here. And we're still retrofitting this a little bit. Yeah. We're still working on it, but it's getting there. Um, we have, we're really big on eating dinner as a family. So Kelly designed oh. our table here out of scrap stuff, really. He That's just, awesome. Yeah, so we have, we have our other two stools put up, but we okay. have four stools and we just kind of sit here and this is where we do our homeschooling. This is where we eat our dinner. Oh, that's um, amazing. I love yeah, it. That's nice. And then and you have storage nice. down there. Did you put the extra lighting in here? Because it's so bright. Yes. Yeah. 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 This is great. Um, Kelly put all LED lights in so that it would be brighter. Nice. So we work a lot here. And um, down here, this is our dresser. Okay. We don't, we don't have a bedroom, so we yeah. have to... Yeah. Kind of make it our room. Sure. Um, this is where we do all of our YouTube and photography and all that stuff. Our camp, our uh, printer's down here, which he just did this this past week. Okay. So we're still, we still have to put the trim up and kind of paint and stuff, but it's it's in there. Um, these are some of the places we've been so far. Uh, we wanted to make this kind of our wall where we could collect our a road map a little bit yeah and keep it for so fun yeah oh my gosh so our camper is awesome. pretty much almost paid off so we kind of wanted to be able to just do whatever we wanted to it and not worry about is it still going to be new and you know how it works so we keep our kids hands off stuff up here like our little essential oils and brilliant things like that well, you can explain this one okay. better than me. You did it. You built it. <laughs> this so is like... our couch slash bed. Okay. Okay. So we took. It had a double um, uh, jackknife couch. Mm -hmm. So I had one of those in there. Well, that's not big enough for 
both of us to sleep on. We need at least a full size. Yeah. So we went out and got a full size futon, and then I put it on. It's got. It's on like door sliders. Oh. Okay. And so you just take, slide it out. Oh my God. And then we have. Um, we have a map, another mattress topper that we put on top and everything. Yeah, okay. And, uh, memory foam and all. Wonderful. And then to put it up, you just grab the strap, pull it up, and slide it in. That's genius, Kelly. Um, and then we did put on with the kitchen. Yeah. And we did. I, this, this is actually just today. Oh, okay. That's great. So, all I did was take a folding table. Uh huh. And retrofitted it onto the side. Oh, that's brilliant. And then she has extra counter space. Yeah. Huh. And mainly that's for washing dishes. Extra counter space and it fits our cutting board perfectly. Oh, so, wow. I, mean, yeah. I love your cutting board. It's nice. Did you paint that? No, it's a Pioneer Woman. I got it at Walmart. But okay. Yeah. That's all I get. <laughs> <laughs> so I made this. This is something I did. Um, we use a lot of spices when we cook. So That's... I bought a piece of sheet metal uh -huh. and I just trimmed it out. And you can get these at the Dollar Tree. They're like two for a dollar. Okay. And you can just use them for your spices. And so they just stick to the metal and they don't move when we're traveling. That's the best part. They don't come off. Yeah. You know, so it, they're really, it's kind of a nice little thing to have there. That's, so. we will be copying that. I just tell you that right now, <laughs> that's going to get copied in our trailer yeah. in the next few months. And of course, you know, every woman has to spruce it up a little. Oh. So I just bought a placemat and glued the, glued the little owl on the back there just to kind oh, of okay. dress it up a little bit. But How fun. As you can see. Yeah, I like owls. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same placemat. Like I was telling you before, the this was a full size bunk okay that went all the way across and it was and all this was basically open area underneath you could you could lift up the plywood underneath the mattress oh okay. and it was all open well some of that has to do with the gray water uh the piping from the sink goes under here and then goes uh, okay back to where the shower is meets up with the shower and then goes down in the gray tank okay so when I pulled it all out, I, I saw that and I'm like, okay, well, I can't just leave that open floor. So that's why you have the step up okay. along with the uh, furnace piping going okay. under there. That makes sense. So I just cut this down and then built a little box over the water heater because that's the water heater back there. Oh. And then we got so, a couple of the little three drawer deals mm -hmm. from Walmart. Okay. And we put those in, and that's the kids' dressers. Nice. And then this was the original little closet. cabinet, closet, whatever. Yeah. And so we just use that for, for storage. Storage up there. Yeah. And then that's for all our bedding during the day. And then that comes down at night, and then they both have a bunk to sleep in. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we've tried to make use of the space we have available to us, and it works for our family. A lot of people, when they see our camper, they think, man, how do you guys fit in that little camper? But as you can see, it's a lot bigger inside than it looks on the outside. It's like a TARDIS. Yeah. You know what that is. Yes, I do. And, and really, you know, smaller spaces just bring you closer, and we've come to realize that, so we don't mind at all. You know, it's interesting. I um, was talking to somebody can't remember if it was online or in person that's just how bad my life is right now <laughs> but um who was talking that they should do a study on the divorce rate in rv communities like people that that camp together a lot or yeah. full-time on the road and their hypothesis was that it would be much much smaller than the national average mm -hmm. because of how close this whole lifestyle brings people together oh, yeah. you know and yeah. it seems like you know if you haven't done it that that it would maybe make it worse, but it, it doesn't. It, it really does make you closer as a family. It does. I mean, as you can tell, we don't really have a TV or anything in our camper. We do a lot of reading. We do a lot of puzzles. Um, and if we do want to watch 
you know, YouTube or, which we mostly watch YouTube, I'll yeah. be honest with you. <laughs> we watch a lot of YouTubers. Um, we just watch it on the computer. So, I yeah. mean, it's less, less to keep up with and we enjoy it. I mean, it, it does, it brings us closer. You know, Kelly spent a lot of time away in the Navy, so getting to spend more time together has been a blessing for us. Oh, I'm sure. So yeah, it's, we enjoy it a lot. It's awesome. Yeah. You guys have done such a great job in this. I mean, this is, I've seen, you know, I, I've seen a lot of custom jobs on YouTube and, and everybody fits it, but you guys went like above and beyond. The color schemes, the, the little touches here and there that you really do make use of every single inch of this trailer. Thank you. I've, awesome. I've tried and I'm sure if, I, if you give me time, I can probably add more. <laughs> it, it's not hard to do when you have little kids. So yeah, but yeah, we enjoy it. We've made it our own and it feels like home to us. So we're happy here. It is, and we're on campus Bear for Bear Weekend. Bear Weekend. Family Weekend. Family Weekend. Yeah, I'm, I'm not shocked that you're contributing to the well-being of the kitty. It's kind of like the dorm mascot. Oh, he did taste that. He is. Yeah. He tried enticing us with a box of free kittens. Yes. I want a kitten. You want a kitten? Yes. So now we have Morgan Jr. over here with boxes of kittens. You want that kitten? Did you hear that? He's fixed already. No. No. Ready? No. 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 I was just thinking that, yes. yes. Yeah. It's actually normally this color. Oh, look at that. A banana on the desk and everything. The mouth. This is so this? staged. You could be a real estate stager. Okay. Why are you excited, wife? They're giving those out at Taste of Springfield, and I saw one and grabbed it from Mom. This is an Aldi keychain, and I bought one, but mine's the leather one, and my quarter won't come out of it. This one spins, and it pops, and it pops out. So you put the quarter in the side there, and you don't have to fight with the leather to get it to come out. So I'm really excited because you all know I love Aldi. Hey, right, and, and if you're not familiar with Aldi, why is that exciting? Aldi is an amazing grocery store. No, but why is the keychain exciting? Oh, oh, because you have to have a quarter to use the shopping carts. It's a cost saving measure. They pass the savings on to us. Oh my god. <laughs> they need to just hire me already. No. No. What was Momo playing for you? You didn't let her play it again. See if you can understand it. All right. Are you excited about the helicopter? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't know, they might let you get in it. Would that be exciting? We could ask this nice gentleman here. Are we allowed to go in? Awesome, thank you. Here you go, buddy. This looks a lot like the one Grandpa Kerry used to fly around in. How cool. What do you think, pal? Can you fly on a mission? Look at all these controls over here in the 
metal. Look at all these gauges. It's your screen up here. It's pretty cool. Everybody's on the same side. Dead center in the ball. All right. Oh, we suck a salad. I hold it and you push the stick. So, from the back. Ready? And push. Oh, so close. All right, now it's Chick's turn. Bye. Bye.